Hey everybody, Dave here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So I wanted to give you the bi-weekly 1M Robots update on how we're doing. And I would say we're ahead of the game. So let's go talk about these hats. All right, this is our first attempt off of my Anycubic Mono 6K 3D printer that I got myself for Christmas. And at first glance, not too bad. Um, there is a little, little tiny bit of lines, but they actually sand it off pretty easy. Um, and I think we can adjust the settings to get that a little bit cleaner. But one thing was uh, we set up our supports wrong and it actually ended up being one giant blob. So, whoops, we got that fixed and we reset it up. And this was the second attempt. And actually on this attempt we did two on the build plate one fell off into the build plate but this guy stuck so we got one so that was a success now in looking at this we were kind of evaluating like hmm what do we like what do we not like i think one of the biggest things was the panel lines were really really thin like hairline thin so we went ahead and thickened up the panel lines also these little ports that i'm these are just uh like wire that i got from an old pair of headphones but um, we molded in or sculpted in some uh, little holes, but they weren't quite thick enough and I had to drill them out and they kind of cracked because it's really, really thin. So uh, we thickened that up on the second round. Um, there's a couple of things in here that were a little too thin, so we worked on that. Um, this was supposed to be like a little antenna bay and it was supposed to have a little piece there, but it got lost in the CAD. <laughs> um, and I'm, hopefully I can just drop a piece of polystyrene in, that's the idea. These two little holes here, they're a little puny, so we thickened them up. Um, liking this little vent back here, but yeah. That is the round two, and then round three, um, I apologize, I actually already painted this up. Uh, my buddy has the other one. We did two more prints and they both worked out, so that was nice, but um, you can see here, the panel lines are thicker, so we, uh, open up those panel lines so they look a lot better. The antenna beefed that out a little bit and we were able to get the uh, little peg with a hole so I can drop a little piece of polystyrene in there. That turned out pretty nice. The little adapters where I'm putting the wire in thickened those up a little bit. I think we need to beef that out a little bit more. It's still a little thin. Um, in this area here it's better, but I don't love the spacing of this. I like the I like the spacing of the top and those two, but this one's a little tight, so we're gonna fix that. I think also the uh, camera lens here, I want to push that back just a little bit to thicken that up. Um, this vent intake is really nice. This is a cool little feature that we added. Um, on the back, we didn't have it on this one. We have this thing where on every robot we want to have like some kind of charge port where maybe someday if we build a diorama you can actually have like a cord coming off the diorama and it clicks into there maybe with a magnet or a peg and it looks like it's kind of charging the robot so maybe like a charging station diorama so that is a fun little feature that we added one thing that we're struggling a little bit with the 3d prints is we're getting some maybe dripping I'm not quite sure in fact on this one my buddy did a hole here and two holes here, and the resin drained out pretty nice. This one, we just did one hole here, and I could not get the resin to stop leaking out. It would I couldn't get it to come out. It, I, obviously, I couldn't cure it, so I went ahead and just uh, super glued the whole shot. So <laughs> there's probably a little bit of loose resin in there, but um, so we're going to have to work out this. We ended up with a little bit of a flat spot right here and a couple of weird little dips in the back there with the 3d printing because it was laying on the build plate face down so i'm not sure if the weight of it is causing some issues there so we're gonna try and fine tune the settings in our cad and on the printer so but overall for a third round this is pretty great i think maybe one or two more two more rounds and we should have this head dialed in and then onto the rest of the robots. So yeah, make sure to follow us on Instagram and you can see kind of just photos of our process. That's just 1M Robots, I'll put a link below.
Okay, so this is coming along super great. It's really fun to see this robot coming to life. And it's kind of a dream come true. So uh, me and my buddy, we are doing some concept sketching on arms and torsos right now. And then he's going to build those in CAD. And that will be the next, hopefully, one of the updates will be kind of showing an arm, maybe army and torso. Um, we're working with Just Drawings again. She's concepting some more stuff for Aki. And Aki is kind of our character who's going to be interacting with these robots. He's 18, 19 years old, living in a post-apocalyptic world. And he is actually out there scavenging and looking for parts and building these robots. So that's kind of the story behind these. And he's using these robots to help him survive in this new world that he's living in. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be really fun. We're going to be doing some concept work and sketches on our Instagram channel, kind of showing maybe vehicles and accessory packs and um, other things that he would use in this world just to survive. And it's going to be more of like just concept ideas and mock-ups as we are continuing to think through how we build out our components and our pieces. So stay tuned for that. But until then, there we go. Got ahead. <laughs> as always, it's a great day to be a toy nerd. Have a great one.